more of you, less of us. As you wash us with the blood and purge us with your presence. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Come take your rightful place here. <laughs> yeah. For the early and latter rain, we give you all the glory. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead, give somebody a hug and tell them this is your day. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. The Bible says that we're pressing into the kingdom, you know? <laughs> Glory! <laughs> this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And it's a good day to die. Amen. Would you grab your swords, please, and go to 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Let it rain. <laughs> She's in the spirit. Let it rain. Yeah. Open the gates of heaven. Say, let it rain. Let it rain. <laughs> yeah, we have a new preacher here. <laughs> First Corinthians 15, verse 50. Hallelujah. Praise God. Is everybody there? Would you read it with me? Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment. Everybody say in a moment. In a, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? This is powerful. So we see here that the kingdom of God is an eternal place. He's speaking about here. Amen. This is an eternal place. And this change... This change that's going to happen is an eternal moment. Everyone say eternal moment. And one of the things that God wants us to do now and in these last days, and you may not understand and comprehend this right away, but I'm going to tell you it's coming. There's an area where God wants us to begin to create eternal moments in our life and in others' lives. And there's an opportunity to create eternal moments. Is everybody with me? And, and if you look at what is a moment, a moment is a recorded event of time, isn't it? Yeah. Amen. Well, eternal moments are life-changing and God-fearing. Say they're life-changing life and God-fearing. God oh, <laughs> they are recorded events of time with an eternal purpose. That's what an eternal moment is. It's a recorded event of time with an eternal purpose. Amen. Amen. Is everybody with me? Go to Matthew 6. Matthew 6, eternal moments, 
all glory. You know, you think about it, when Jesus went to Jerusalem, he wept. Why did he weep? Because they missed his visitation, didn't they? They missed the eternal moment. In Matthew 6 and verse 31. Is everybody there? Matthew 6, verse 31. Oh, hallelujah. It's good to hear the pages turning on a Sunday morning. Would you read it with me in verse 31? Therefore do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Hello. Now, this is not an eternal moment. That's a carnal moment. Hello? How many, how many of y'all know worry and fear, anxiety, stress is a carnal moment? And it certainly does, has no promotion of eternal things, does it? There is no eternal purpose in a carnal moment. Has everybody got it? Let's go a little further. For uh, there, uh, is everybody there? Verse 32. For after all these things the Gentiles seek, your, fa your heavenly Father knows what you need, all these things. But what? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its, is its own trouble. So we see here that worry, fear, anxiety are carnal moments. That's why he says seek the kingdom of God first, right? Why? To create an, ex an eternal moment. Is everybody with me? It's our responsibility to create eternal moments now. That's why you and I were rescued. That's why we carry the anointing. It's to create eternal moments. Anybody remember what an eternal moment is? It's a recorded event of time with an eternal purpose. It's a recorded event of time with an eternal purpose, that is an eternal moment. It is life changing and God fearing. Amen? Amen. Matthew 13. Verse 47. Matthew 13 and verse 47. Is everybody there? 1347. Hook. Let's read it together. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and they sat down and gathered the good into the vessels, and but they what? Threw the bad away. So it will be at the end of the age, the angels will come forth, separate the wicked from among the just, and cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to them, have you understood all these things? And they said to him, yes, Lord. So they understood these things. What Jesus was using here, he was using parables. Amen? Now, a parable is a parallel to the eternal things. But Jesus was using carnal moments, something that they could relate to in their life, with eternal interpretations. Does everybody see this? What was he doing? He was creating an eternal moment. How many of all salvation is an eternal moment? Jesus always maximized the moment. We are to maximize moments. Has everybody got it? Go to Ecclesiastics 2. In other words, stop wasting time. Ecclesi Ecclesiastics chapter 2. Maximize the moment. By maximizing the moment, you're able to see all the way through. 